Well, it is unfortunate that you see my first battle and I get uh, totally defeated, but as you can see, I did take down quite a lot of them, but also there were just a lot of armed citizenry and stuff. So, I'll come back, I'll just replenish the troops, add some extra Bashi Bazooks and I can take them, because usually the uh, computer isn't very intelligent enough to actually, you know, uh, replenish their soldiers. So there'll just be like a lot of beaten up pikemen, and a lot of beaten up militia, a lot of beaten up militia, since a big chunk of them got eaten by my artillery. Excellent. Yeah, military governor's barracks going. Fix up my soldiers, which is okay, so that's something I can live with. Um, I'm gonna take away these guys and actually throw in some Tartars, which is great because it adds a cavalry element. Uh, so I can combat their cavalry, and also these guys will be quite beaten up as well, since I shot a few of them and uh, killed a bunch with my general and stuff. So it'll be really nice to see, and also Tartars have bows and things, so you know they are just quite versatile. And then I'm actually, surprisingly, I have used these guys before, and they're actually very good. They're actually very, very, very strong, actually. Um, people will be like, oh, you're using bow-armed uh, bow infantry, wow, you totally suck if you're using, you know, ancient crap. But honestly, though, like they actually surpri surprisingly offer good cover fire, and they're actually very, you know, useful. Right, now that I've done empiricism, I I'm upgrading to a college, because this is what I want. I want to try and make, you know, my research area um, a lot more developed, so I can actually research things. Now, I know this guy is an enlightenment person, and I don't want to be like, oh, I want to tend to your needs. But, see, you know, now that he's learnt things and he's a bit better at what he does, I'll start doing plug bayonet and stuff. I'll start, like, really focusing on military technology. And then when I open up another school, which will be here in the Middle East somewhere, uh, preferably Egypt, because Egypt is actually quite a nice place to learn things, uh, I'll start doing um, industry technology and things like that to help build up my farms, build up my mines, uh, build up my roads. Um, okay, well, I think I'll come to an end here soon. Uh, I've built up a bunch of things. I'll probably continue this campaign for a while. It's really not that bad. I mean, yes, I know it is sad to see that uh, you saw my first battle and it was a defeat, but, you know, it's more like, you know, agree to disagree, you know. I, I did lose, but, you know, I, need, and I can easily replenish the soldiers and come back again and I'll have extra troops to really beat them with and it's, it'll be fine. And I still have the artillery, so all is all is really well. So, uh, Mesopotamia. I'll just cycle through a couple of extra things here, and then I'll probably sign off. So, and uh, really though, I want to build up my, once again, I want to build up my frontier. So I have a choice between either building up more, uh, yes, I will build here, the farms, and in Athens to prepare to fight the Venetians, even though it'll probably be too late now. I'm gonna build a cannon foundry and throw in some bashy bazooks. And actually, Azars as well are very useful. So I'll throw in a regiment of Azars as well. One last check. Ooh! And normally is a happiness in the treasury administration. And one's management. Yep, you, my dear sir, are the treasury man. There we go. So that's extra cash coming in. Uh, soon I'll need another. Gra I'll need a grand vizier though to help spread or help you know keep my place under control and improve my legitimacy to the world. Um, th yeah, these men will stay in the fort. Uh, this place I will upgrade to a military governor's encampment. Same here in Sarajevo. Uh, Belgrade I'll make a regular. Uh, administrative place, Sofia the same, and I'll build up the capital and Athens, and I'll continue working in the Middle East to and the um, uh, Persian border uh, to work on my things. Now, one final act of sabotage, and I will end this video. I have a choice. I can either kill their leader or start killing off their smart people. I'll kill their leader because if I, when I fight them, I don't want them to, you know, have soldiers or have, you know, men to lead them. Okay, well, you can't make it. That's just too bad. Um, well, this is Othalarsk in the Hizzle. Well, I'm going to be leaving the Hizzle now because it's actually a bit late here in Istanbul. 
and I have a test tomorrow morning <laughs> for my summer school, so, you know, uh, but what better way to be doing my history degree than be playing history right now with the Ultimate Empire. So, cheers everyone, pilot episode, long episode, I'll get this, uh, it'll be coming up, and hope you all enjoy for those of you who join in. Alright, cheers.